couple of things happened this week, very notable in the entertainment industry. The first being uh, Jerry Lewis. It has been announced that he will not be a part of the now truncated 2011 MDA telephone in any way, shape, or form. They had hoped, or I guess he had hoped, to uh, come on at the end and sing and never walk alone like he always did every year, but uh, the, they're making a clean break from him, the Muscular Dystrophy Association is. Uh, Jerry Lewis has been a part of that organization uh, most of his life. Uh, and some people say that he exploited all of the uh, the kids, all of what he would always say, my kids, and some would say that he was a great help to them. History will uh, pass its its ultimate judgment, I suppose. Uh, he, I think, he started the National Telephone in 1966 with just a handful of northeastern stations. And in its heyday in the 80s and 90s, he had, uh, you know, a station in every part of the country carrying his telephone. Then in the late 90s, a lot of the stations that carried his telephone, I first encountered this when I was up in Charlotte, North Carolina in 1999, would just carry the last few hours of his telephone. And then locally, WFTS, the ABC station in Tampa, would just carry the last few hours of his telephone from Salem, like 9 in the morning to 6 at night, because uh, uh, the TV industry has changed. Stations used to sign off. Now, you know, uh, every TV station's looking for every little last buck with these infomercials, so they stay on the air, and the informa infomercials seem to get priority over, uh, you know, live events like the telephone. Uh, Lewis is in the autumn of his years. He's 84, 85 years old. I wish him well. Uh, it is an ending of an era that, that no one kind of expected. Everybody kind of thought that this would be, uh, he'd, he'd come on the 2011 telethon, he would sing, you never walk alone, and that would be that. Uh, so it's not going to happen. That's very unfortunate. Uh, great humanitarian. His telephones would be a little schmaltzy, I, I understand that, but it is the ending of an era, and I think historians are going to look at 2011 and see that this was the ending of a lot of eras. Now, on another note, imagine you are an MTV executive on, on August 1st, 1981, and your station, your cable network has just gotten off the ground. And somebody from 30 years in the future comes back to August 1st, 1981 and tells you that 30 years from now, exactly 30 years from now, we'll be playing the final episode of the third season of a show called Jersey Shore, which is a bunch of Italian uh, Northeasterners from New York and New Jersey gathering at the Jersey Shore, going out clubbing, having a good time, and also getting into a lot of internal fighting. MTV, boy has it changed over the years. Remember when it used to play music all the time? And then uh, they would take 30 minutes out and play that British sitcom, The Young Ones, and then it was The Monkees, and then it was Beavis and Butthead. And now you turn it on today, even at 11 o'clock in the morning, to play in Jersey Shore because this, today is the start of the fourth season where they are all in Italy. Um, actually, it's tonight on MTV. I really don't have anything against Jersey Shore. It is the typical reality fair. But getting back to Jerry Lewis, right before this announcement of him being basically terminated by the company he kept, he founded in the in the 1950s uh, and uh, and forward, he said a lot of things about how TV has changed over the years and a lot of the programs that are not. That are not worthy of being on TV. Well, that's true. Back in his day, back in the 50s and 60s, when he was first starting up the National Telephone, every every uh, major market or every small market, whether it be uh, Boston, New York, or say a small market like Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, you only had three stations, maybe four, maybe not even three. And nowadays, you know, like the Bruce Springsteen song, we have 57 channels and we don't really have a hell of a lot on. Uh, it's an ending of an era. It, and how, how often have I said that this year? That uh, times are changing. Uh, TV has become a vast wasteland. If it wasn't for The Rays and Big Brother and, and uh, some other shows, 
NASCAR, I really wouldn't be watching TV all this much because I have this computer in front of me. Uh, the computer, what's on the computer is much more interesting than what's on TV. And you wonder why ratings fall and, and no one watches a news broadcast anymore. Changing times. And I kind of wonder, now that I am about a month shy of my 40th birthday, if ch things are changing for the better. So this has been today's little runaround. The Big Polly video blog this, let me just check the date and make sure I give you the right one. Oh yes, August 4th, 2011. I am Big Polly. I'll catch you all again real soon. Bye bye for now.